How much did you guys show the kind of grit and resolve that you know you've been looking for? We were better. We were better. And um, you know, like I kept saying, just keep guarding. You know, because we couldn't make a shot either. Neither one of us could for a while. And um, I thought we gutted it out. And then um, um, there was great execution when they made a, a mini run at us. The guys came out of timeouts and executed and made plays. And, and um, you know, these two made plays. Nerlens played well. Alex played better. Alex showed what we're trying to get him to. He's not all the way there yet. You know, there's some plays I want him to go up and dunk the ball instead of lay him in and, you know, and missed a couple of them. But again, you know, here he is. He goes for 12 points and seven rebounds as a freshman, six of eight from the line, and I'm, I want more. But, you know, I thought Jared uh, Paulson came in and did great. Um, like I said, Ryan and, and uh, Cal, is, he's just, they're, they're getting more aggressive. I love the fact that we had five guys in double figures. Um, that's how we want to play. Cal, you've challenged Kyle in these last two games. 17 points in both games, shooting the ball well, but you've asked him before, what are you going to do when you're not scoring? He's he better. I told him. last game, passed yeah. the ball today. Yeah, and, and, and he also, um, you know, a key shot that was a critical shot. They go zone. He was passing out of the middle. We, our whole thing was we're getting it to the middle to him and let him make plays, and he did it. But he's also now coming up with rebounds. He's not accepting that he can't get the ball. So now, even if he misses a shot or two, it's fine. You leave him in. Um, no, he's playing better, and he wants it. And he's, he's playing more aggressive. There's no tentativeness to his game, and that's how I want him to play. Hey, Ryan, uh, how much does it, did it, did it challenge you guys when Cal said this isn't a team that can get a 20-point lead, lead on somebody in the hole? I didn't know he said that. So <laughs> did I say that? I, I, I didn't know wow. he said that. So I, I, guess, I guess we proved, I guess we did it today. <laughs> you know he said it. Was it was it a challenge? Yeah. I mean, when we started playing good and going down the stretch, uh, we just kind of huddled together and just said that we need to keep uh, just start burying teams because uh, in the past we've kind of played around with them and and we did a good job executing down the stretch to kind of get easy baskets and uh, I mean we've been practicing hard so I think that's a result of it. Cal for 15 for Auburn from three. Is that something you guys did defensively? You're just an opponent that can do anything outside? Well, um, the staff said to me, you know, because you look at their overall stats, they're an okay three point shooting team. But the last five games, they've been shooting 40%. And so one of the things we talked about prior to the game was we got to guard the three this game. This is not a game where you can just leave people alone. And there were times when their point guard drove, we didn't go in with them, we went out. But they did have open threes that they missed that they'll normally make. We played better than we have played. I mean, this is not anything. And I, I told Tony this. I think his team has bought in. Uh, Tony doesn't have to coach effort anymore. Um, I think each individual player is playing the way they need to play to win. Um, and they're buying into how they're going to play man-to-man, -man, how they're going to play zone, what their press looks like. Um, they're we're trying to get our guys bought in, and this was a good step for us. Kyle, have you ever had a game where you went through your introduced in player introductions and then didn't actually <laughs> start the game? And then, Cal, what happened with that back and forth between Mays or Wilcher at the start? I don't know. I mean, he, he knew he wasn't starting. And when I heard it, I went to the official. I said, I don't know what this guy announced, but that's not who's starting. <laughs> what were you thinking, Kyle? They call your name out and you run through the. Oh, I thought it was funny. I, I mean, I knew I wasn't starting, so it was just it was funny. All those things that you described with Tony Roberts' team, are those maybe things that weren't always the case in the past years? Have you seen? No, I, the early this year it was not the case. And that's why I'm said I'm proud of him and what he's doing here. I mean, the, the hardest thing for coaches to get, it's right now, I haven't hit it yet, is to get every player to buy into how they must play. They want to fight you. They want to. They don't want to relent. I, this is how I want to play. But it, it, you can't play that way and us have success individually. And then as a team, you got to get them to buy into how they're in tune, how they play off of one another. How, but you can't do that until you, they buy into how individual players have to play. When you look at it, he has well-defined each guy and how they're playing. That's why they went to South Carolina and won. That's why they had Arkansas beat. They had them beat. And that's why they'll win a ton of games. They, they hit us on a bad night. And they couldn't make a shot. There's nothing, nothing more than that. They are fine. For both players, you guys have been through the journey before. Do you feel this team starting to come together? And, and explain why you do. 
Um, <clears throat> I think over Christmas break is when we start to really come together because we with each other all the time and it's just basketball and us. And that's when we really start to form that bond and start learning like what all of our roles are and what coach specifically wants from us on the floor. And I think just from Christmas break, we've just been building each game and just doing what coach has been asking us to do. There's so much attention brought to the to the freshmen. You feel them kind of starting to buy in a little bit, Kyle. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a learning process, and our thing is just every day just uh, learning and getting better. Uh, I mean every day in practice, the freshmen uh, are coming and they're working hard. So uh, I mean everyone on our team uh, is is starting to buy in, like Coach Cal said, and uh, we just got to keep improving every game and and just take one game at a time. John, what did you think of the idea that Willie obviously couldn't play? New Orleans uh, had foul trouble and that you guys won the boards uh, and, and, and did well around the Well, here, here's what I would tell you. With Kyle, with Alex and Archie, we can still rebound the ball. Now, what you don't have is a shot-blocking presence unless Alex gets in that frame of mind. So what happened is they started shooting some layups with him not in there, with New Orleans not in there. With New Orleans in there, it's a little harder to go drive to the basket and get a layup. Um, but we rebounded the ball. I mean, we can play that way. You know, Kyle can do it, um, Alex can do it, and Archie can do it. They, you, you have three guys with pretty good size. Kyle, early in the season, Nerlens was blocking shots, but he was leaving his feet a lot. The, uh, we he he started working on a drill. Every there. day we do a drill to stay down, and we do it with our guards because we were all leaving our feet. But you have to understand that there's so much stuff you have to teach when they're this young that you don't do this, and then they, it's like a fingers in the dike. Okay, now what, what's next? What do you have to do? Well, that was a big thing that every team was taking advantage of us early. So every day that we practice, we do a thing to keep them down on their feet. And he's, he's done it. And then that's part of buying in. Like, don't leave your feet. We're doing these drills. Now get in the game and concentrate. Have some discipline. And he has. And he's still blocking shots. He's blocking more now than he did before when he was leaving his feet. Cal, it's not a fair comparison, but Chubb, who played against Anthony last year, said that both Nerlens and Anthony are essentially the same player. So just, just talk about the performance that Nerlens had today and whether I thought Nerlens was good, and, and I think the way Chubb plays, he is physical and he getting into your body, and he gave Anthony headaches last year. Um, and what Nerlens uh, is, is uh, you know, both of them were long and all that, but Anthony had a little more offense where he could step out and shoot a jumper and, you know, he wasn't going to run somebody over like we threw it back to him and Nerlens ran there. He would have avoided it and, you know, he was more of a guard. But Nerlens is a terrific player. We need him to stay out of foul trouble. We need him on the court. Um, he, he helps him, he helps him, he helps everybody because you can't just drive now because he's, he's back there and he will block it. Brian, that guy said, some of them almost played afraid of the atmosphere. How much do you think it helped that you guys have been to Notre Dame and Louisville and that sort of thing? Well, Coach talks about that with us all the time, that every time we play in the gym, it's sold out. You know, if we're playing home or if we're playing away. So we're, we're basically used to that. We just, you know, when we're playing away, we got to be able to take the crowd out of it because the crowd can help, you know, the home team. And I think that's what we did today. We, you know, we had the lead and we kept the lead, and then we got a big lead, and they were they were out of it basically. Cool. Yeah, talk, talk about what this win moving forward. What the uh, how important the Alabama game is. Up, uh, it's the next game. It's the next game for us. We, our whole thing is day to day. Uh, we've got to build on what we just did here today. Um, you know, we'll, we'll figure out if Willie's playing or not. And we'll go from there. You know, I, I checked on him today. He was walking around and all that good stuff. But um, we'll go from there. And if this is what we are, we played well, we'll move on. But I'm, you know, I haven't looked at Alabama. I haven't seen anything on Alabama. I know they won today, Texas A&M. Texas A&M came to our building and beat us. And they beat us good. So Texas A&M went down to Alabama and got beat today. So I imagine Alabama is really good. But right now, we're just trying to enjoy this one understand what we did today. We made strides. The biggest thing is, and I, and I told him today, wins and losses, okay. But these guys will be defined by how much effort, how much fight, how much competitive spirit they have 10 years from now. I'm not gonna, how many games did the guy win in his career? That's not what they talk about. 
they're going to talk about his competitive spirit, how hard he played, how tough he was. And that's what we're trying to get through to these guys. The winning and losing will take care of itself. But at the end of the day, they will define themselves by that effort and toughness. And I'd like to get to the point where I'm not coaching effort. And we're, we're getting closer, hopefully.